Hello, this is Sir Stillwater. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the Lighthouse of Alexandria in the Forge of Empires. Uh, the LOA, as it's known as, is a great building from the Iron Age. Um, this is part of my great building collection, uh, if you will, here on YouTube, talking about all the different great buildings that are in Forge of Empires. So first, I'll show you what it looks like. Pretty cool. It looks like a little fortified building with a tower in the middle, lighthouse in the middle, and a little gold figure on top. I don't remember who that is, who it's supposed to be. Uh, but it looks like you have maybe little gold figures in the corners here. It's, it's kind of a cool looking building. Maybe some flagpoles in the corners. Either way, it's pretty neat. Uh, let's see. It, it's going to provide a couple things. It's going to provide some supply boost, and it's going to provide some goods production so which is very valuable especially when you're in browns excuse me when you're in the um excuse me when you're in iron age in, in those some of those ages there going into the middle ages this is pretty helpful because you're going to need a lot of goods this gives you daily goods production as well as supplies which are always going to seem to be running low on so this is what it looks like in the wild here it is uh sitting next to my coa which we'll talk about later so there we go pretty cool little i believe it's a four by four let's jump over and learn more about it Okay, so I'm over here on fandom.com, which is uh, forgeofempires.fandom.com, and here we can learn about the LOA. Uh, so you can come over here and you can read all the stats and see the see the, the schedules and all that. I'm just going to speak through some of the points. I don't want to waste your time reading all this to you, so I will just go ahead and hit the high points and uh, point you in the direction of the information, and then we can kind of go from there. So... Uh, let's see. First off, construction cost. Uh, it is an age... It's an age based building, which means it's Iron Age, which means in addition to your nine blueprints, you will also need uh, some of those Iron Age goods, right? 40 limestone, 60 ebony, 50 iron, 70 cloth, and 80 jewelry. So those are going to be part of the requirement in order to place this building. It is a 4x4. Four four. A road is required, as is for all great buildings, I believe. And then the properties that they show here is, are, as I mentioned earlier, are going to be your production bonus, which is going to be goods. That's a 24-hour collection of a random good from your current era up to a certain point, up to a certain era. And then also a passive bonus, which is going to be a supply boost. So in here, let's go ahead and talk about that a little more. So first off, obviously level zero, you get nothing. You just get to take up four by four, uh, waiting to get to level one so you can get some rewards. Uh, it takes 40 to get you 40 FPs to get you unlocked to level one to level it. And at that point, you get a 60% supply boost for, I believe it is the first 40 collections of supplies from a supply production building, not from great buildings that supply, that produce supplies. So that said, let's go back to my other town. That will provide, like you see, I've got these little um, blacksmiths and I've got some of these uh, butchers over here. That will be a 60% boost on those for the first 40 collections in that 24 hour period. If I exceed 40 collections, the boost is has run out. If I don't use them all, it just expires and it count starts over at 40 for the next 24 hour window if I had collected. So that's a little bit a um, little bit of that info. And that kind of applies for a lot of different things. But, um, you know, when you get things like that, when you get supply and coin production. So that said, you're at 60%. looks like you're picking up 5% per until you get up here to level 5, then you grab 10%. Uh, increase in the supply boost. This really, really starts to add up, especially in these ages where you're in uh, Iron Age, you're through the different Middle Ages and so on. Uh, that makes a big difference because you still have a lot of supplies, production buildings going on. Uh, later on, depending on how you approach the game, everybody's different, obviously. Um, depending how you approach the game, you may not have any or rarely any supply buildings anymore. Um, I'm that way in one of my worlds where I just don't have any. I, I place a bunch of blacksmiths, or not even a bunch, wherever I can stuff them in, whenever I need them for an, for an event. Uh, so, because you have some of the events, you have to produce so many productions or whatever and supplies in certain time time windows. Um, so, this is more meaningful in these early eras, but still, it's always good to have goods production going on. I keep the building around, and I keep it leveled. So... Uh, let's see. So goods, it looks like you get eight goods. Again, this is going to be similar to the other great buildings that produce goods. This is going to be eight random goods of a type for the era that or the era that you're the age that you're in. So in this case, if you're in Iron Age, it will produce randomly one of these goods 
in a quantity of eight for a collection every day for a 24-hour window. And then you collect again. Tomorrow, one day you may get you may get limestone. The next day you may get ebony. Uh, you can get ebony the second day. It's just really random, but it's nice because it's, they're goods. They're good production. These become really helpful, especially once you get beyond once you get beyond uh, Iron Age and you're in the higher ages and you haven't yet built your goods buildings or you you know whatever. This helps give you current age goods kind of as a leader into those other eras, which becomes very helpful for, you know, unlocking stuff, for doing other trades, for trading down. So that's kind of where the advantage is. I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the LOA. It's been a good building. I keep it around. I don't level it up crazy, but um, I, I respect it for what it is, and it's it, it serves a really good purpose in my opinion. So that said, uh, that is the LOA. Let's see how our, our levels increase our production. Um, let's see, you got to get to level six before you basically doubled your supply production for your first 40 collections, I believe it is. And then you're getting 14 goods. That's pretty, that's pretty decent, right? So, you know, that's, it, it picks up pretty good. And then if you get up to a level 10, you're at, uh, 145% and then 19. So you're almost at two eight hour shifts of production for your current era every day. That's non plunderable. So. That's worth worth knowing. And then down here, I think as we get higher in the eras, we start to get, um, let's get to level two, just get past that and see where we're at. Yeah, see, 10, 5, and uh, not too far off from what they were in the bronze era. And then level three is 15, 10, and 5, and then all three of them are paying blueprints. So, again, good way to get these are, a uh, good way to get these blueprints are to contribute to uh, FP swaps. So, I know some people don't like FP swaps. They think they're a waste and they're stupid and they only advantage the big players. I, I, I disagree. I think there's an opportunity there for anybody. And it's, it's cool. And I know I've said that a thousand times. And I'll say it a thousand times more. But <laughs> that said, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions or whatever, please leave them below. I appreciate your time. Stay tuned to get more coming. I'm working my way through the eras. <laughs> so subscribe if you're interested. Thanks. I appreciate it. Bye.